a present at the memorial service where President Kufuado, the Vice President Dr. Alhaji Mohamedou Baumia, speaking at the event, the National President of the Ghana Bar Association, Yao Achampon Buafo, described the four as people who defended the interest of their country. He further explained the reasons for the continual celebration of these martyrs of rule of law. My colleague Mausi Numon's report for you now. Justice Fred Pokusakode, Justice Cecilia Kranting Ado, Justice Kojoe J. Japong, all judges of the High Court and a retired Army officer, Major Sam Aqua, were murdered on the night of the abduction. Speaking at this year's memorial service of the justices and an Army officer, National President of the Ghana Bar Association, Yawe Champong Bafo, described the four as people who defended the interest of their country. Our departed colleagues died in the line of duty to their nation, to their countrymen, and to the rule of law. He further explained the reasons for the continuous celebration of these martyrs of rule of law. But we still remember these martyrs of the rule of law, and we continue to celebrate them. The bar and bench acknowledge and proclaim those good qualities and deeds for which they were made. Justice Fred Pukusakodia, Cecilia Krantin Ado, and Kwejo Eje Ejapo, the bar, bench, and the people of Ghana salute you. You died in the line of duty. You performed your duty as justice without fear or favor. You stood for the rule of law, but your assassins hated what you stood for and murdered you. They could not eliminate what you stood for. Your monument stands in the forecourt of the Supreme Court building in constant reminder of the good qualities required of a judge. Judges, magistrates, and lawyers will continue to draw inspiration from the bold and courageous manner in which you administer justice in those challenging times. The national president of the Ghana Bar Association also urged members to be fair in discharging their duties without intimidation. In my opinion, two lessons are to be learned from their unfortunate, unlawful, and tragic killings. Firstly, their death should continue to encourage and embolden our hard-working and noble men and women of the judiciary. In Ghana, administering justice integrity without fear or favor, affection or ill will, knowing that their independence and tenure are more guaranteed and protected under the 1992 Constitution, a markedly different environment from the dark and heinous days of 1982. This is the fervent hope of the Ghana Bar Association that current and few just justices, judges, magistrates, and lawyers will continue to draw inspiration from the bold and courageous manner in which you, our martyrs, administer justice. The memorial service was graced by the President, His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, together with the Vice President, Dr. Alhaji Mahmoudou Baumia. Mausi Newman's report read to you.